What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to break down a beat that I've created. I'm using Hyperion Strings Micro, which is an orchestral strings library by SoundIron. Hyperion Strings is only $50, which is a great value for what you get. Thanks to the folks at SoundIron for letting me try out this plugin. I'm actually using two more plugins from SoundIron, and I'll get to those when we're breaking down the beat. I'll link to Hyperion Strings Micro and the other plugins I've used in this beat in the description of the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm using Ableton Live, and right now you can see the arrangement of the song. Bunch of instruments, I'm gonna get to these up here in a bit, but I want to start you off with the pad type of sound that starts the song. For the pad sound, I'm actually using Sound Iron's Sonosphere's Distance. I really love the sound of this virtual instrument. It just has this kind of spooky vibe that you can use in the background of your music. It's great for soundtracks as well. This is one of my favorites by Sound Iron. I'm so glad they let me try this one out. So right here, I've got Hyperion Strings Micro. I've got cellos doing a pizzicato dynamic. So starting the song, we've got the cellos doing the pizzicato, we've got Sonosphere's Distance, and I've also got a piano. The piano I'm using is by Nexus 2. First, I've EQ'd it a bit to give it a more lo-fi sound. I've also got Reels, which is a cool plugin that even gives it more lo-fi-ness. And then I have M Rhythmizer coming in every now and then to actually do a half time. This is kind of what gross beat does. It just slows down whatever you're playing by half the speed. So in parts of the song, I activate M Rhythmizer to do a half time sound. So just those three instruments start the song. Then, Now that sound is created by Voices of Gaia, which is another sound iron instrument. These are actually singers who recorded different phrases and you can play them on your keyboard. So let's try this one that I've actually loaded up. I've just used a couple phrases in this song that you hear in the beginning. I EQ'd it to give it a lo-fi sound again and added a compressor to it. Just a little bit about the beat. I'm using a drum kit that I created. I use different samples to put it together. Now you also hear an effect by Omnisphere, Clap Dance. It's an Omnisphere preset. So let's just hear the beat and that effect from Omnisphere together. For the bass, I've used Massive, a preset called Supreme Bass. There you go. Massive, it's a great synth. Sonosphere is still playing. Now the pizzicato cellos that you heard before, those continue playing. So at the same time now, I'm bringing in violins and cellos. Both of them are, again, from the Sound Iron Hyperion Strings Library. Now you'll see the swell moving automatically because that's how I program them. To play these with the mod wheel, It sounds amazing, right? Let me show you a little bit more about what Hyperion strings can do. So right here, I've, I only have the violins playing and I'm having them play a sustained dynamic. I haven't done much in this front page except for change the attack. I have a slower attack. I'll show you what a faster attack can do. Now let's put the attack up. 
So you see, it's, it's more of a realistic sound to me. Hyperion Strings also comes with effects that you can add to it. I haven't added any effects to this sound, but I have changed the space. So I have the space selected as effects short, and I also adjusted the position of the violins. If you hear them, they're playing a little bit panned right. Now let's move them to the rear. I'm going to move them up to the front and to the left, and you can hear what that sounds like. All right, let's put them back to where they were. Now, also during this part, I introduced the cellos. For this one, I did use effects. I chose their preset Cream, and I adjusted the EQ just a little bit. And in the space, I'm just using chambers, and I have the cellos right dead center. Let's hear it with everything, including the beat. Now you heard some different strings, right? For this one, I've chosen the spiccato articulation, and that makes the strings sound like... They sound beautiful. I wanted some brass in there, and you're gonna hear the brass. This is not by Sound Iron, but let's listen. Wow, sounds great, doesn't it? The brass is coming from a contact library called Albion One, which is by Spitfire. Spitfire makes string orchestral instruments just like Sound Iron makes, but they're so expensive, and I really find that the Sound Iron strings are a really great value for what they sound like. I'm gonna actually open a new track, and I'm gonna load up Hyperion strings, and I want you to just listen to the full string ensemble. When you choose the ensemble, you can arrange the ensemble however you like. You can change the volumes of the basses, cellos, violas, and violins. You can pan them differently, add effects to it, change the space, and it's just incredible what you can do with this. They have an arpeggio and a play assist function as well. I didn't use those very much. It was just so much fun just playing it. So once this section starts, I've changed up the bass line quite a bit, and let's just listen to the bass. You'll hear what I'm doing. I had fun playing that bass line. It just gave a nice variation to the beat. So now that's the piano playing without M rhythmizer on. So that's the piano without halftime. Towards the end of the song, I turn halftime back on. We talked about the beat, the bass, the piano, sonospheres, love it, voices of Gaia. And the only other thing I didn't talk about was the riser. So every now and then I have a riser, which is just a plain old reverse cymbal. So what the riser is doing is it's letting the listener know that something big is coming. It's building up that energy. So listen to it in the beginning. I hope you enjoyed that quick beat breakdown. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Keep making the music that you love. And I'll see you guys later. I've chosen the spiccato architect. For this, I've chosen the spiccato the spiccato archive. <laughs> <laughs>